It's Steph here with Tiny's Garden. I am removing an invasive species today. Technically, I don't think it is officially considered invasive. However, it could be considered con invasive and everything online says, I can't wait to get this out of my garden, but how do I get it out? It's so difficult to get out. It's taking over everything, etc. So the plant is a chameleon plant. I'll put the botanical name up because I'm not exactly sure how to say it. It's perfect for wet, moist areas and can take shade or sun and has really beautiful tricolored leaves. It does spread and is vigorous. So I thought, oh, this will be perfect for the area flanking my driveway after the tulips fade away and will fill in nicely. But then I did a little more research after planting them last, I would say end of summer. I don't want to take the risk. This garden bed is huge. And if this thing takes over my whole garden bed that I've been spending a lot of time and work on, mmm, mmm, mmm. I just can't have that. So I'm trying to dig it out. Here's what it looks like when it's coming up. It's making an entrance. There's some back there too. So you can see it does spread. But since it's early, I'm really hoping I can contain it. So this is what it looks like when it's coming up and it spreads underground through rhizomes and big, big roots. Meaning you have to take every single root out or bit of the root out because even if that stays there, it will grow and come back again. So I'm digging through, digging up as much as the root bulb as I can and getting rid of it. This is one I've already done. I seem to have found all the roots and rhizome. Okay, and this one here, if we zoom in, you can see the majority of our root bulb is right here. So this has to be where I planted one of the plants last year and you can see it's old dry foliage from last year. So I'm going to dig that whole thing up. After I dig out the majority of the root ball, I follow up and go into the hole to dig out any rhizomes or remainders of the roots that are left to ensure that the plant doesn't come back. At first I try and work around the tulips that have been planted. But you'll soon see, because of the vigorous spread of this plant, that soon becomes impossible. To give you an idea of the extent of this, there's the tulip bulbs. I thought I was done. And came a little closer here. Bam! Another root. Bam! Another root. Bam! Another root. And sure enough, if I follow that up, that's where those are coming from. So, more digging. Since these tulips are deheaded anyways, I'm just gonna pull them out. I really didn't wanna do that. So I'm gonna have to come back in and make this look appeasing, but it's just gonna be the easiest. It's really difficult to work around them. Oh my gosh, it's everywhere. I can truly not even imagine having this in my ground for years and trying to get rid of it. I mean, look at all this. That's full all the way down there in this cart. I even potted one up because they say you can contain it in a pot because the rhizomes can't spread because there's sides on a pot. But I'm almost even second guessing that, seeing how vigorous and widespread this thing is. Our hole keeps getting bigger. And now we've got to go this way and look at all of those. This is so intertwined. Gosh, these things are deep. They're just everywhere in here. Total destruction mode now. Oh, I'm beat, but I think I'm done digging. Look at my hair. 
Uh, yeah, that was a lot of work and way longer than I thought it would be and way more widespread than I thought it would be. But let's take a look at our situation now. This cart is completely full. All the white roots hanging out are where it grows from. And this thing is jam packed full. So much for saving tulips. <sighs> Had to pull all of those out. And these holes are bigger than I expected, but I've gotten everything out that I can see with my eye. Realistically, I'm sure there's more, but my goodness, clear out your day if you have to do this. Okay, so we are gonna dump all of this into a trash can because we don't wanna put it into the woods or in a pile where these rhizomes could get into dirt and regrow and start this guy everywhere in our yard. So pitching them, some people put them in a bag, as long as they go into the trash and not a compost pile or somewhere where it can expand. That's what we're looking for. <laughs> oh no, oh no. <laughs> it's heavy. Oh boy, oh boy. Goodbye. We're gonna clean up this area, get rid of those tulips, till all of this, blow that dirt back onto there, make it look somewhat presentable. Then I'm gonna have to plant in here later because it's four o'clock. Okay, we are officially done for the day. Woo! That was a lot of work. But you can see here, I've got the bed. Looking presentable, I will go back in and fill in the gap from where that chameleon plant was. But at least we're tucked up for now. So again, it was a chameleon plant that I planted, can be considered invasive, even though it does work great in boggy areas, swampy areas, some people use it in their ponds, and it is very pretty. However, for the landscape, it can take over. And this bed is huge and I've done a lot of work in it. So the last thing I want is a plant to take over the whole thing and then be impossible to get rid of. So I think I got the majority of it. I will obviously keep an eye on it and we'll hope for the best. So if you are removing something, good luck and we will see you next time. Bye.